Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you know, my channel is, is about uh, dividend investing, investing in general, uh, rather it be from you being a, a beginning investor to uh, a more mature investor. Uh, t t tonight's video is, is going to be a treat. What we're going to be talking about is uh, a new finance app. So as we know, uh, we're going to be talking about in this video budgeting, uh, managing your, your expenses, uh, uh, finance tracker, expense tracker, and we're going to be able to track all that through Simplify. Simplify is a Quicken's uh, version of basically like a, a budget tracker. And as, as you know, uh, in the past, when, whenever I did uh, like for me to conduct my budget on, on a month to month basis, I would use Microsoft Excel. I normally would use the Microsoft Excel uh, spreadsheets to be able to manage all of my expenses on, on a month to month basis. Uh, but with Simplify, uh, it's a lot, it's, it's like what is it within his name uh, through uh, Quickens. And as you know, uh, with Quickens, uh, Quicken, like Quicken Loans, or the Quicken Loans Arena, now that they have uh, gave us this product of uh, Simplify. And so uh, a couple of things for you guys need to know uh, starting out is that uh, it's it's free for 30 days. And then after 30 days, you can either pay uh, $36 for the full year subscription, or you can pay uh, $2.99 or like $3.99 uh, per month. And uh, I, I say that this is a great tool to uh, download and use to stay on top of your expenses. Because what, what I find is that when I sit down and talk to people about their expenses uh, on a per month basis, a lot of times a lot of people don't even know uh, what's uh, coming out their account, uh, how much uh, certain bills, uh, they, they may know what their mortgage and their rent, rent is, but when it comes to the, the additional uh, costs that come out your account on a month to month basis, uh, subscriptions will not, a lot of times forget, even I forgot. And I just, uh, was reminded about something I just, I just saw, uh, before I did this video and I actually unsubscribe, uh, to a subscription. And so, uh, this, this video is going to talk about the personal finance app of Simplify. We're going to talk, talk about, uh, just we're gonna go through the whole website and the whole user base, user face, so that to show how uh, simple, how simple and easy to understand this is. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, any concerns, uh, write it uh, at the at the bottom of the video. Any any concerns, uh, questions, if you like, if you don't like it. Uh, but uh, let's let's dig into it. So as you see right here. Uh, here is the, the, the dashboard for Simplify with, uh, by Quickens. And uh, when you start out, it's going to ask you to input uh, all your information. All, all you got to do is just click. And as you see right here, I included uh, my credit cards. And so uh, I have a couple more credit cards, but these are the two main credit cards that I use that when uh, when I, uh, swipe, I actually get points. The other, other credit cards, uh, I use for different reasons. And then now, since I opened up a business account, now a lot of my expenses are going to be towards that, but I just add these two because beforehand, uh, March and going before, uh, a lot of my expenses from mortgage, uh, mortgage, water, uh, I would say AT and T, which was my, my it's my internet, et cetera, et cetera. Will will we'll go and hit, hit these cards, and so uh, you, it's broken down into different categories, as you see. So you see the the, the banking. The banking is basically um, everything that I use for my credit cards to hit. You have my investments. Uh, I was able to sync my fidelity, and then you ha you have just like my property because uh, I own a house, and so uh, you have that's that's the value. Just it's like what what is my current net worth and then so uh what i like about this is that let's let's uh, dig deeper so this is the dashboard so if you go to the transactions tab the transactions tab will actually show you like all the like all the transactions that you see in, in your credit cards that you have to log in once you go right here it's like all right there it's great <laughs> It's actually really great. It's every, like all the transaction, everything broken down to uh, what you paid and whatnot. It's right then and there. Um, and then a, another function that I like with uh, the Simplify 
is uh, that it has this, this calendar. And so right here, I saw that this group poll line uh, in, a, in two days was going to uh, take $102. So I actually, I actually went in and, and canceled that because I plan on going to uh, Cartagena, Colombia next week. And this was for a stay of something that uh, that I was meaning to cancel <laughs> that. And this Mazuma, this Mazuma, uh, I, I made sure I went in and I had the, the proof to, to cancel that as well because uh, that is when I signed up for my, for my business. Uh, I had some accounting software that was like free for 30 days. That's how they get you that free for 30 days. And then it, it hits you with this massive fee. It, get, it hit me with this massive fee of $95. So uh, I saw that uh, there, there was going to take it for another $95. And so I made sure I went in and canceled for Mazuna. So I know there, there's there's other programs out there that you can uh, sync your information in and, and it'll let you know if any like pop-ups or any bills or any, any subscriptions that uh, you probably have forgotten. But it's just, this is a, a real cool, I, uh, I would say, feature that's it's, it's all under one, one roof that you, that you don't have to go and download like these multiple apps all, all right here and there. And then you can actually uh, set it up. And then like you see right here, it shows that I pay my uh, security AD, AD, ADT for my house. I pay... Uh, my Geico because when I paid it through my credit card, it actually uh, picked it up on uh, for my credit card statements. And then as you see right here, it shows that at the end of at the end of the month, uh, the re recurring fees that I just have to keep, uh, I have to think ahead, which is like my Netflix, my Hulu, uh, and then in the beginning of the month, uh, you have like like expenses that I. You that uh, I utilize for my business, like the hippo video for me to, be, to do the videos right now, TubeBuddy, uh, SEO uh, for my YouTube videos, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, and then right here, uh, you can actually cr create a spending plan. And so a lot of things that I, that I was doing uh, on my Microsoft Excel, I can actually do it right here and here where you have here, here's the, the income. Here, here's the bills. You click click on the bills, and then uh, I like I like how it, you know I like how organized it is. So w when you download the Simplify, there's also an app as well, um, and you're able to monitor and you're able to understand all of your expenses, all of your your expenses expenses. You're able to uh, basically budget, and this like uh, this like, I, I'm I'm so excited because this, this is a great budgeting tool to use and it doesn't really cost that much money and it's free for the first 30 days. It's, it's really, most most uh, user faces are like really complex, hard to, to use, but right here, as you see, um, everything, once you uh, put in your, your credit card and, your, and all your accounts and let it sink in, it's, it's all right here and there. And, all, and then all the information is organized so, so you can just tell a story you got the subscriptions. You got. I, I put my savings goal as uh, five hundred dollars. I use utilize that as put that towards uh, like my investing. You have my uh, subscriptions. You have uh, income in terms of uh, like what I make or whatnot. And then uh, and then uh, so then you, you go go back to the uh, so you go back to the, the dashboard and then. Right here. So the the, the the more the more you uh put in, in into this, uh I could for me a lot of stuff I, I really don't need to put into. A lot of times I just uh, utilize this to uh, gauge to see what 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 are some things that uh I'm paying that I, I need to be aware of. Uh, this this is great for me seeing that uh. A lot of my big bills, I understand, like my mortgage, uh, bill, like bills that goes towards my business. But there's certain small things uh, that I sign up for that I use for my business. Business that uh, it adds up. The seven ninety nine, the twelve ninety nine, uh, may utilize it the first probably two three months, but then uh, don't realize it as you know it it builds up your credit card. And then at the end of, end of the month, you know I'm paying the credit card off, but a lot of times I'm not really paying attention because if it's not a huge expense like 
huge expense to me because I'm a minimalist. I'm frugal. So a huge expense to me, like if I saw a bill of $100 or $50, $75, then it's going to be a red flag. Like, whoa, what's, what's going on? Let me let me inquire. Let, let me see what's going on compared to $12.99, $7.99, where it's like, uh, you know, there's McDonald's meals and uh, my Torchy meal is, is more than a uh, $7.99, $12.99. My Torchy meal today was like 25 bucks, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but as after a while, it, it begins to compound. Also, I like right here, you have the uh, the investment section. And so, uh, in, in regards to, I use Sim Simplify right here in regards to my budgeting, uh, budgeting, planning, and all my expenses. And I use personal capital, which has transformed to something else in terms of uh, tracking my net worth. And so, um, overall, the, uh, simplified by Quicken uh, is 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 definitely um, yeah is is definitely something that I rec I recommend for you guys to download and for you to be able to utilize everything because it's uh it's it's, it's very user friendly as as you see uh it goes through all the transactions it's, it's very transparent uh and basically uh may give you may give you a little bit more information that than what you uh, probably will want to know and will want to see but a lot of times you uh want to you want everything to be transparent so that you know uh what's coming out your account and what you need to pay for because otherwise you don't want to miss a miss bill you don't want bill collectors to come and so uh right here if you want to add uh, uh extra accounts you go right here and just like this right here i add i added my bank of america oh no i haven't added my bank of america that's my business account so no need to really add that but i added my american express and, and capital one uh i have other credit cards like uh discover i have my, my chase card uh, I just didn't want to add my Chase card because it has a lot more of my personal information in terms of my checking account information and whatnot. So I didn't, I didn't want to add that and then do a video and then people uh, all up in my business and up within my, my, Chase, my Chase account. But uh, as you see, uh, just as a video so that you know, uh, for, and, uh, for you guys, uh, since you want to look into this, uh, you, you can sync your, your Robinhood account of Chime, Charles Schwab, so for all in, individuals who are big, big in the investing community, a lot, I know a lot of people use Robinhood as an investment. Charles Schwab, Fidelity, I use Fidelity or 401k. Um, if you want to sync certain banks, you can sync uh, Chase, of course, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. And so uh, once you just once you click click on uh, a certain whatever, like if I was wanting to sync my Discover, I just click it and then whatever my uh, username and password, I put it in and then it was automatically sync. And then boom, all the information get, get pulled in and then it get added here. And then you'll see uh, what your net worth is and you'll see um, all that you need to do in, in terms of uh, what bills is, is coming up, what bills you've been paying uh, so that you shouldn't be alarmed. You should be, you should be knowing uh, what's coming out your account to, to pay your bills. And if, if not, then that's concerning. Honestly, that's concerning. And if you if you if you own any any real estate or anything right here, you can just add it right here. Or also, if you wanted to add like crypto, uh, you can add your crypto right here as, as well in terms of investing. Uh, more so that's how more so your, your investment right here. You can add your crypto so that you can see because you know uh, crypto is, is going up due to the uncertainty of the market. Bitcoin is, is going up. Ethereum is going up. So this is the best way to also house your your crypto. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video because I got, I got super excited. Um, I got tired of do doing, uh, my budgeting through, uh, Microsoft Excel, Excel spreadsheet. I'm like an Excel wizard when it comes to planning. And I figured, uh, this simplify by quick is, is, is the best way to, do, to go in terms of budgeting and, uh, to managing your expenses. Uh, th this is the best way. And then I, I love it because, uh, you're able to uh, visually see your bills and it, it sends you reminders. And so it's hard for you to miss by seeing it right here compared to going through your, your credit card bill, 
going through your your uh, your checking account and you know just drag and drag and drag and print out or just looking and, and see. I mean, if if you're fine doing that, cool. But I recommend simplify with Quicken. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video of uh, this tutorial of just a house. Uh, user friendly this uh, website is I recommend it I, I say uh, if, you, if you like it uh, download it uh, put your information in uh, your credit card your, your checking account uh, your investing crypto stocks house do it and then it's, it's all in one stop shop it's safe uh, you can imp implement uh, safety measures uh, just in case uh, if, if you are a little uh, weary about putting your information on certain things but overall uh it's affordable it's not it's not like ten dollars a month or anything it's affordable it's free the first 30 days and as you see uh it's it's, it's very transparent you can uh you, you can set a, a spending plan you can set uh goals watch list you can set you can see uh, uh upcoming bills that way uh so yeah, this uh, and then you can also set goals for yourself. You can set goals for yourself in terms of what you will want to achieve, whether it be stocks, whether it be saving up for a house, and it's right right in there. You can add also add uh, extra expense if, if if it doesn't pop up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys uh, do your research and like simplify like how I like it. And if you do, uh, at the bottom of uh, Write a, a comment. Hey, Kadira, I like it. Hey, Kadira, uh, I don't like it. Uh, that, that's completely fine if you don't like it. And then uh, like, subscribe to my channel, share this lovely uh, content. And I hope you guys enjoy your night. I just wanted to get on here and, and just uh, talk to you guys about budgeting, uh, managing your expenses, and, and, and basically personal finance. Because, hey, uh, you got to take control of your, your finances in order to be able to retire uh, one day. Social security is not, is not going to be there for us. So we got to manage our expenses just in case if you want to retire uh, one day in your 50s, 60s, 40s, or fire movement, or if you want to, like, like me, just utilize your money and move and move to a different country. So whatever you, your, your prerogative, or just, hey, just pay bills. Whatever your prerogative, hopefully you enjoy my videos. I hope you like, like more of my videos, uh, right, left, or right. It's going to be a pop-up. Click that video, learn some more about my channel, about investing, dividend investing, and budgeting. Oh, and personal finances. All right, good night.